The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14, For the love of Christ controls and urges and impels us because we are of the opinion and conviction that if one died for all, then all, all what? I died. Praise God. The 15th day of April, and our topic says the, the love, love of the Father. Father. We just judge if one died for all. All are dead. Father, the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you, we glorify your name for your love towards us, for your wisdom in our spirits, for your care and your concern about our lives. Even as we receive your word today, it blesses us and inspires us unto greatness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The book of John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. You most likely memorized the verse above as a kid, like I did. We were made to recite it as kids. But as I grew and began to understand the importance of language, the importance of words, I couldn't but review the thoughts in that verse to understand what it really means. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. That's the sovereign declaration of Almighty God. It's a legal message to the world, a legal instruction. As a matter of fact, it's a law. God so loved everybody. He so loved us that he gave his only begotten son. And in that verse alone, I found the profuse effusion and demonstration of the Father's love. Mm. Mm. There are so many messages embedded therein. Think about it. That he gave Jesus in your place means he loves you as much as he loves Jesus. Yes. That means you are valuable to God. I am valuable to God. I am valuable to God. If God so loved you, you must be something to him. Otherwise, he wouldn't pay a price so dear in your place. More so, that he loves you means he's watching over you every day. He's with you every moment and every step of the way. Amen. He cares about everything that concerns you. Amen. This should give you an extraordinary confidence in life, a new way of thinking. Hmm. The extent to which he went in demonstrating his love for you is proof that nothing is too good you. Nothing is too good for me. <laughs> All understood this and submitted. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things oh. to enjoy? Hallelujah. You find that in Romans chapter 8, verse 31 to 32. Become confident in the Father's love for you and be compelled by that love to reach and win others for Him. Hallelujah. I read this scripture to us earlier on. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 to 15 declares, For the love of Christ constrained us, because we do judge that if one died for all, then we are all dead. And that He died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. This means we can't be quiet. We must tell of his love, of his grace, mercy, and compassion. Hallelujah. We can't be quiet. 
if he died for all, that means all died. Everybody is a candidate for salvation. And those of us who are already saved, we have been, we have been brought into a place of abundance, into a place of success, into a place of greatness. And it's our joy, praise God. It's our joy. That's why we can't keep quiet. We're going to tell, tell it on the rooftops, everywhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's coming to your mind? <laughs> Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us that we should be called the sons of God. Hallelujah. Oh, how the Father loves us so much. The Bible says He so loved the world that He gave His only Son that if anyone would just believe in the Son Jesus Christ, He should not perish as a matter of love. You know, the pastor is trying to let us see because we always said they shall not perish. It's not shall not perish. It's not a story that is being told. It's a law, it's a sovereign declaration God is making. Mm. You should not perish. Do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? If your answer is yes, you should not perish. Not perishing oh, does not only refer to heaven. When you get to heaven, like, okay, the person is not going to go to hell. But not perish even here on the earth. You should not perish with that sickness. Mm. You should not perish with that disease. Mm -hmm. You should not perish with that problem financially. You should not perish. You should not be disgraced. Hallelujah. You know, the good thing about it is that it's not anything you need to do. It's not anything you need to do or what you need to have done. It's everything that Pastor said, for him to have given his son's life for you means you are very valuable. Means he's watching every step you take. He's care, he cares for you in every aspect. So it's not something you need to do or you need to have done. You know, it's what he has done. And as you accept it, you activate it. Yeah. So I accept that I have been given a life that does not fail. A life of success. A life of victory. I'm not a debtor. No. No. I live a life of abundance. A life of peace. For the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I am a joint with Christ. Therefore, I, ha I have access to everything in the world, every wealth, every success in the world. I have access to it in the name of Jesus. I am not a beggar, I am a blesser. God told Abraham, who is our father of faith, he said, I will bless you and make you a blessing. I am a son in the house. I am blessed and I am a blessing to my world in the name of Jesus. So tell your word, tell those in your world, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues at work, they need to come to the realization of this truth. He died for all, excluding N-O-N-E. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'd like us to take the prayers together. Please put your hand in your chest and say after me. Precious Father, Precious Father thank you for your unwavering love. Thank you for your unwavering love. Which you have so lavishly poured, which you have so lavishly poured out, on us. out on us. Thank you for making me the object of your grace, of your grace. Glory, glory, and righteousness. And righteousness. I, walk in the of your love I walk in the consciousness of your love now and always, now and always. in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. I'm going to see you tomorrow, the 16th day of April. Until then, remember that Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Amen.